a bit of a familiar starting point for videos for some reason. I like to start here. Anyways, now that I've done this whole marginal gains for health thing, completely dropped the ball yesterday, had a funeral to go to, which involved driving across ferries, and all the other crap, getting up at 4 o'clock in the morning. Wow, can I ever feel that today? Junk food and a ton of energy drinks to try and make it through the day. I'm just bagged. I got nothing today. Still going for a ride. That's going to be an easy one. So, I am a big boy. There are no big bones in the world. That is a flat out lie that your parents told you to make you feel better. I even hit 310 pounds. I don't know where I am now, but I should be just under it. But anyways, when I was that heavy, it was a while ago. I was going to the gym like a freaking monster, eating like a monster to become a monster. And then got a girlfriend, my job slowed down. You only move so much when you're standing beside a diesel or sitting beside a diesel, fixing it. And I just ballooned. So I know that being big affects way, way more than your health. Like way more than your health. It even comes to you don't fit in your standard car. So you end up getting an SUV or a truck. So you're paying the premium for that. And you're paying an insurance premium for that. And then you're paying the maintenance on it because it's a heavier vehicle. And then you're paying the fuel on it because it's a bigger vehicle. So being big, wow, you even eat more. Because you think you need more. But you're eating more of the wrong stuff. Riding by a shooting race, I might get some kapows. Like that. So being big definitely affects your life in more than you just can't bend over and breathe while you tie your shoes. Because I fluctuated my weight from 305, 310, back down to 230, and then got sedentary again, back up to 300, which I'm at now, or it was that last time I jumped on a scale, an industrial scale, I'll be clear as well. A home scale is going to cut it for that. Doggies on the trail. Because of the weight fluctuations I've been able to do, I know that you have to move. If you want to lose weight, you have to move. Left foot, right foot, left foot, right foot. Which is why, even though I'm bagged and I completely screwed up yesterday with my diet, I'm still out here. If anybody's had to pass a military fitness test, and actually passed it like I did at 300 plus pounds then you understand what I'm talking about anyways the point of this video well the point of this whole channel really is to show off the marginal gains tiny little changes you can do to your life like eat more fruit instead of a chocolate bar grab an apple or an orange or a banana or like six handfuls of blueberries. The reason I watch a lot of YouTube videos of pro cyclists and close to pro cyclists and how to ride from them and how to eat from them or through them, whatever, or eat them. Frick, I got that hungry sometimes. I could squish you into a little ball and chill you up. Is they know the lifestyle it takes to be lean. I'm not talking that I want to be 3.9% body fat like Durham Rider. But, I would like to drop down to 220 or less. That way, I don't have to go to age. That would be awesome. 
you don't need the best gear in the world to go out and get in shape. Any bike with wheels. I like that dude. Works. So this is an unofficial, unlicensed shout out to Duran Rider. Because his commitment to his lifestyle is huge. He even mixes it up a bit and throws some trolling in and points out that pretty much every pro athlete is doing something besides eating a steak to be as good as they are. Maybe not all are shooting themselves up with stuff, but they're definitely taking something in pill form or supplement form. I know because, well, I did all that over the counter stuff too. Creatine, ephedrine, anything to get my body to lift massive weights in the gym. As much as I love my bike, I hate it. I hate it, I hate it, I hate it. For one simple reason. I go out, bust my ass, getting it around town. I come home, I can barely walk. And it just stares at me, says, more, more, more. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Darren Rider's one-liner. I love it. I've been living it way before I found him. You don't have to agree with me, but you're still wrong. That is just awesome. I've tried YouTube a few times already. Motovlogging on my motorcycle, lots of other things. But because of my size, I just plain didn't have the energy at the end of the day. I mean, go to work, on your way home, try to do a vlog, and you're just going, uh, screw it. Then you don't get the videos out, nobody follows you, then you lose heart because of that. Just vicious cycle. You don't have to go vegan. And you should, because it saves the world. I'm not yet, because I'm just not at that level yet. But micro gains, right? But really, really need to eat less meat. I mean, our Western, North American, freaking European, whatever lifestyle, we're all growing sideways and frontways and backways to the point where once skinny people get ostracized and criticized. You say it's glandular for your size? Maybe it's glandular for their size. Or maybe they just ride, like riding their bike. Pretty much anybody watching any video on YouTube has heat in their house. You don't need winter weight anymore to stay warm. So why even call it winter weight? Just call it what it is. My lifestyle has forced me to be lazy. And my lifestyle has forced me to eat the wrong kinds of foods. I'm being kicked out of the Navy for an intestinal problem. Yeah. Guy that rides 35, 40 kilometers a day is being kicked out of the military because he's unfit. A lot of that has to do with the menu that I was served. I have no choice. I'm in the middle of the ocean. What else am I going to eat? I've only just recently started making the food healthier. And because of my problem, I haven't been able to go to sea to show that it was the diet. And now I'm going to be out. So, you're looking at a bona fide veteran here. I'm looking forward to my new adventure as a veteran because I get to control what happens to my body when I get to exercise, how much I get to exercise. I mean, yes, there's a gym on the ship and a treadmill on the ship. You try running on a treadmill when that treadmill is pitching 20, 30 degrees. Running up a mountain, all of a sudden you're falling down a mountain. Running up a mountain, all of a sudden you're falling down a mountain. This doesn't work. Same thing for the weight equipment. Let's see. Oh, uh, my bench, my bench, my bench, my last bench. What was that? Since everybody thinks that bench is the definition of strength. 
What was I? 380 at sea for safety? Maybe 100 pounds. Maybe. Just because of the G-forces as the ship pitches back and forth. So I guess I gotta cut right to the chase here because this is getting kind of long. Most of you know you're eating wrong. Do something about it. And not a fag crash diet. And one meal a day. Holy crap. Who the hell would do that? Oh, that's so wrong. Uh, do yourself a favor. If you don't like trolling, don't watch his trolling videos, but check out Darren Ryder. Because, well, he's so committed to his lifestyle that you have no choice but to realize that you've done so much wrong to yourself. I'm Ryder41289. That's it. I'm a number. Because my military history. I'm just a number. 41289. Do yourself a favor, get outside. You can dress for the snow, you can dress for the rain. You can sort of dress for the sun, it only takes too, so much off. Just get outside and do something. Walk half a block. Walk a whole block. I managed to get a whole 10K in today. Yeah, I'm still rambling. So, Rider41289, Facebook, Instagram. Don't know if I made a Twitter account yet and definitely YouTube since you're watching it. Give me a thumbs up, give me a thumbs down, whatever, thanks for the visit. Subscribe if you wanna see me try and transform myself.